हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा प्रभु थैंक यू हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा की ृष्णपदाचक्षरमीलिताजेतन्यमस्थापितमेनभूतलेयं नमा विष्णुपादा कृष्णभृस्ताय भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदस्वामी नमस्ते सारस्वतीदेव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देशधारिणे पंचकल्पतर्भ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्ये च पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम हे कृष्णकर्ण सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पति गोपेश गोपी का कांतराधा कांत नमोस्तते तप्ता कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेशुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासद गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे रीडिंग फ्रॉम प्रोपर लीला अमृत वॉल्यूम टू चैप्टर फोर्टी फोर कंटिन्यूइंग गुरुदास हैज सेंट अ लेटर टू ऑल इज कॉन्सेंटर्स इन्वाइटिंग डिवोटिस टू अटेंड द ओपनिंग ऑफ कृष्ण बलराम मंदिर इन वृंदावन ही हैड इन्वाइटेड life members from bombay and calcutta and has reserved cars for them on the trains propat also was inviting his disciples to come to vrindavan for janmashtami lecturing before hundreds of devotees in los angeles he said i invite all of you to come to vrindavan to the opening of the krishna balaram mandir propat had also mailed invitations to his god brothers and when one of them shridhar maharaj of navadweep accepted the invitation Shila Prabhupada replied, assuring him of comfortable accommodation and suggesting the easiest way to travel from Calcutta to Vrindavan. Shila Prabhupada also told Sridhar Maharaj of his preaching. You will be glad to know that our books are selling very nicely. Last year we sold about 4 million books and this year within 6 months we have completed last year's quota and therefore we can reasonably expect to double the sales of the last year. the only difficulty is that we are expanding worldwide organization and it requires very acute management to keep up the status quo so by krishna's grace everything is going on nicely regarding preaching tour it has become a little difficult for me because i have got the same heart trouble as you have and still i am moving just to encourage these young boys and girls who are working on my behalf on july 15th only 12 uh, only 10 days before propas proposed arrival in vrindavan he wrote almost identical letters to his sanyasi disciples inviting them to come and resolve the many personal matters and items of business that had been pending during his busy tour i cordially invite you to attend our opening ceremony in vrindavan because all of our sanyasis will be present there you also come there as a regular sanyasi and take part that is my desire when karandhara the newly appointed gbc for india began to express doubts that everything would be ready on time proper replied from los angeles the festival must be joyously done it should not be poor if there is a scarcity of money it will be dis- it will be supplied there must be full prasadam for all the guests you plan for that and i will supply the funds complete prasadam distribution must go on regarding the temple not being finished on time that is your responsibility what can i do although propad had responded to karandhar forcefully the note of unnecessity or uh, uncertainty from his head manager in india distributed him he wrote to shurabi who was in charge of the vrindavan construction i am a little agitated in mind because karandhar's letter says that there may be some work to be done even during the time of a festival While in Los Angeles, Prabhupada also received word that London Rath Yatra, scheduled for later that month, had been cancelled by the local authorities. The previous year's par- parade, officials said, had serious interfered, seriously interfered with traffic. Prabhupada insisted that the devotees protest this unreasonable ruling. It is religious discrimination, 
he said and he advised that sympathetic indians in london approached the ambassador and request him to present the matter before the queen the recent statements of the reverend powell of melbourne could be used to demonstrate that christians should not be alarmed by the krishna consciousness movement the police objection means that the whole religious ceremony should be stopped proper challenge what is this simply for some technical mistake now they will stop our whole religious ceremony proper said that if the city continue to pro prohibit the parade the devotee should erect a stationary cart in hyde park and hold a festival there without a procession after holding our ceremony said prabhu sri proper we should take the deity in a palanquin and go to trafalgar square the ratha will stay it will not move but we shall take the deities on the palanquin and go to trafalgar square in this way take police permission and after going there all along with the ceremony protest they cannot object but the ratha must be seen and the people must know that the rascal police government has stopped it propa repeated his instructions several times he was in a grave mood as he instructed his followers my guru maharaj used to say prana ache yara yan yanra sai hetu pracharam one who has got life he can preach the dead man cannot preach so you become with life you like uh, not like dead man just like all my god brothers they are dead men and therefore they are envious of my activities they have no life if you want to make any easy going life showing the dt and then sleep then it is a failure moment propath could not bear to hear that such an important festival as rath yatra was being stopped we should abide by all the rules he said but we must have this festival they saw last year that in the open sunshine thousands of people tens of thousands of people stood in trafalgar square for 3 hours and they do not go to the church so they have seen there is something otherwise how people have taken so much interest brahmananda swami yes just like in san francisco paper they admitted this is the most popular festival propad yes 15000 people attended my lecture silently in san francisco so they are seeing there is something in the moment but sometimes some parties do not want us to go on without objection or else they will be finished on the day of propa's departure from los angeles he addressed the assembled devotees in the temple encouraging them to remain faithful in krishna consciousness and he revealed his own feelings of urgency his constant traveling was for his disciples so they would remain strong and if they remained strong following the simple programs he had given them then their success was guaranteed some way or the other he said we have introduced this program in the western countries and you are so intelligent you have very soon captured it so stick to the standard then your life is successful it is not at all difficult but don't deviate then you are a pakka pakka means solid mam eva ye prapadyante mayam etam tarantite if you remain solid in krishna consciousness then maya cannot touch you so this is my request i am traveling all over the world i am going to see how things are going in dallas and new vrindavan so my touring is natural i have started this moment i want to see that it is going nicely don't deviate that is my only request propad began to cry and simply concluded then you will remain solid thank you very much new vrindavan july 18 1974 a letter from karandara reached shri propad informing him of his resignation as gbc for india the responsibilities were too great for him for he had only recently come back to krishna consciousness he would continue to follow the spiritual program but he could not be the gpc again shila prabhupad was set back and before several gpc men in his room at new vrindavan he asked what to do what shall we do so maybe i should give i should give up these projects in india but shila prabhupad the devotee replied those india projects are very dear to you but what can be done prabhupad asked 
except for gurudas none of the devotees in vrindavan thought that the building would be ready by the scheduled grand opening work was going on along slowly as usual and ex except for the dt hall area, area the land was still a construction site there were no altars no dts tejas thought um, gurudas so feared displeasing propa that he could not bear to admit that the building would not be ready the date had been set and propa did not want excuses it has to be done by janmashtami he wrote there is no question of delay gurudas admitted that the temple construction wouldn't be completed finished by janmashtami but he reasoned that the opening ceremonies could still take place even if the final touches on the temple weren't done because there was no regular gbc secretary for india propa did not receive accurate reports on the vrindavan construction temple construction when tamal krishna goswami had left in april to preach in the west several months had passed before propa had appointed a replacement karandar now after only a few weeks karandar had resigned gurudas version therefore he was the only one propa had received the end of july grew near and the devotees prepared to travel to vrindavan for a fiasco vrindavan august 4 1974 when propa's car pulled up at the iskon property in ramana reti a group of devotees greeted him with kirtan and flowers some 25 devotees from the temple around the world had already gathered for the grand opening ceremony celebration and along with the vrindavan devotees they crowded uh, happily around shila propad no formal walkways had been constructed and propad walked through the half constructed walls past piles of sand and bricks making his way toward the dt house even here at the lack of ornamentation ornamentation and finishing was apparent and uh, rubble lay all o- all around what is this propa demanded as he toured the construction site there is nothing here where is the temple you told me the temple was finished guruda shurabi gunarnava and other directly responsible were unable to answer their faces went white propa was furious how can you open this the visiting de- devotees along uh, also began speaking among themselves it's not ready how can we open but propa said one devotee devotees from all over the world are coming stop them immediately propa said there will be no opening propa had burst the bubble the illusion that they would be ready for the grand opening propa's anger was frightening and the devotees who surrounded him were no longer carefree and joyful you were going to open this temple propa scoffed the altar is ready said harikesh who had come from japan to attend the opening we can install the dt and you cannot open this temple propa shouted this temple is not constructed propa then walked into his house followed by the vrindavan managers and a few other leaders whoever could keep this his, his distance from propa in this mood considered himself bad shurabi's wife ran off to pray to krishna afraid of propa's ferocity in his room propa's anger on be increased he yelled at gurudas for mismanagement he yelled at shurabi he yelled at all of them no one dared to offer suggestions or excuses there was nothing to do but turn white and become depressed propa suddenly inquired whether the temple could be opened despite the mess can you have a dt room ready at least he turned to shurabi this is an insult to our society what will people think we have announced it everywhere nobody actually knew knows about it the propa Surabhi replied fearfully, exposing himself for anything blast. Oh, Propa somewhat changed his tone. You have not made any propaganda about it? No invitations? Not yet, Propa. Not to the people in Vrindavan. They do not expect it to open because everyone who had been here can see that it is not possible to open. They know it's not ready. This is a farce, Propa scolded. it is a fiasco disgusted he looked at his vrindavan's manager we have to open how can we open on janmashtami shila propad surabhi said the doors are not ready they are still cutting the wood propad inquired about the details from yamuna who explained that their paraphernalia had been purchased but the 
that the throne were not ready what is your opinion he asked her i am totally unqualified to speak yamuna said and although i have no right to speak i see it as almost impossible to actually open the temple there is no pujari with a sense of finality and fear of failure propa said then we won't do it but we have invited so many people from all around the world to come and i was not informed of this now you all decide when can we open propadas can we open on diwali when is diwali october shila propad how about bhakti siddhanta saraswati's appearance day a devotee suggested that is at the end of december propad was silent looking displeased shurabi spoke up it will be it will take 6 months actually 7 months then propad chose the day of ram navami in april the opening could coincide with the annual gathering of devotees in mayapur and vrindavan shurabi spoke again he had grown pessimistic from his experiences with construction in india it depends on whether we can get the cement shila propad said shila propad he said we have to get it from the government that was the main obstacle preventing us from opening uh, uh, now we could possibly have the op- opening in 3 months if we could get cement all right propad said resigned there was no use trying to set a date it will be done before next janmashtami his tone was sarcastic and if the cement can be obtained it can be done after 3 months later while meeting with various individuals propad continued to express his displeasure especially to gurudas he asked questions but was no uh, was dissatisfied with the answers he asked gurudas to bring the final uh, financial records and then he reprimanded him more finding a receipt from gurudas stay in an expensive hotel in jaipur propad made an issue of it gurudas became aloof when propad finished talking with him gurudas returned to his room staying there unless the propad called for him propad began talking about changing the temple presidents in vrindavan he suggested harikesh gurudas and his wife uh, he said would could be in charge of the guest house which can uh, which was as yet only a hole in the ground he called gurudas again and asked what he thought of his managing the vrindavan guest house suggesting he go to jaipuria guest house in vrindavan for ideas about management but propat guruta said they charge such low rates at jaipuria guest house i am sure those rates must be sub Sidized. This Mr. Jaipuria is a Marwadi um, businessman. Propa replied, "He is not losing money on the guest house. He is making money. That is the art of management. That you have to learn by going there and seeing." But Gurudas felt too exhausted by the austerities of living and managing in India, where Propa's attention and criticism were so demanding and intense and. where everything was so difficult he and his wife began to think of leaving vrindavan propad continued to press shurabi calling him in at the different times of the day why aren't you why aren't these dt uh, dt doors open up propad demanded i am trying shila propad shurabi replied there were so many things to do never mind propad said you have to get it done these hired men are all cheating you don't let them cheat you it is not easy for all these devotees to collect money it is all krishna's money and can can only be used for krishna's projects protect that money and see it doesn't go in the hands of wrong people i don't want the contractors to become rich men because of our projects and i want marble on that building where is the marble where can i get marble shurabi asked Why are you asking me these questions? Propa shouted. You are the expert. I don't know. Use your intelligence. Ultimately, Propa's anger with his disciples was incidental. The reaction due to due reaction due them for their foolishness. It was also a way of instructing them and testing them. But deeper was Propa's transcendental impatience and frustration that his devotee's uh, devotional service in Vrindavan was still not manifested. Was still not. He wanted a. wonderful temple for the glory of 
the Krishna consciousness movement, a temple that would uh, establish Krishna consciousness all over the world. It was an offering to his spiritual master and he had promised it to Krishna, but still it was not completed. As for Prabhupada's disciples, failure to do the job, Prabhupada had to take the burden and agony for that failure. His devotees were his instruments in his service to Krishna. If the instruments don't work properly, then he suffered. Uh, just as when one's arms and legs for, fail to function, the whole body suffers. His disciples' failure is uh, failure to carry out his devotees was his lo loss. In this way, he felt transcendental lamentation over that failure to open the Krishna Balaram Mandir on Janmashtami Day. Prabhupada's uh, disturbance, though transcendental, was nonetheless real. It was no fine merely for instructing, nor could the devotees cheaply cheer up their spiritual master. For Prabhupada's disciple to properly assist him, they would have to understand his transcendental mood and serve uh, him accordingly. Prabhupada wanted practical down to earth service from his disciples. They should not expect to serve him sentimentally, but should work hard. Devotional service was dynamic. Prabhupada wanted his devotees to help him with his projects to serve his Guru Maharaj projects, which, if successful, could save the world from misery. Getting concrete um, back, uh, was a big problem. Shurabhi, Gunarnava, Tejas, and others were always meditating and striving how to get cement. Yet it seemed no cement was available in the whole of India as month after month they waited for government permission. Daily Srila Prabhupada's arrival for the so-called temple opening, the devotees had been traveling by bus and rickshaws to Mathura to see if cement, even a few bags, was available. Sometimes they were cheated. One shipment of 20 bags had been cut with other material. Uh, materials and when they used it uh, in casting a column it remained soft for four days and finally crumbled when at last enough cement arrived to complete the work the devotees felt sure it had happened only because of Srila Prabhupada's presence <clears throat> Prabhupada had Gunarnava count every bag of cement as it arrived from 8 in the morning and 9.30 at night the shipment kept coming on trucks, each truck with four coolies to carry the heavy bags on their backs into the storage shed. Gunarnava stood outside all the day with pad and pen, marking the receipt of each bag. Srila Prabhupada came up out of the house several times and watched gravely. In the evening when they were finished, he called Gunarnava in. So how many bags? Prabhupada asked and Gunarnava gave the exact figure. Everything is locked away now. Prabhupada asked. Yes, Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada talked about the cement as if talking about a shipment of gold. August 12, Prabhupada felt very weak. It was on the afternoon of his appearance day and he was sitting at his desk. Give me one second. Prabhupada felt very weak and it was in the afternoon of his appearance day and he was sitting at his ba at his desk in the main room of his house. He lay down on his seat and put his head against one of the arm pillows. The following day he felt so weak he could not walk or stand. He had no appetite and ran a fever of 104 degrees. A local doctor arrived and examined Prabhupada. Malaria. He prescribed some medication which Prabhupada took once or twice and then refused. A second doctor came and prescribed different medicines. Stop bringing these doctors, Prabhupada said. No doctor can cure me. It was August, the monsoon season, and many devotees fell sick. When Shruti Kirti, who had recently returned to his post as Prabhupada's personal servant, contracted malaria, Kuladri, who had come to Vrindavan to attend the temple opening, volunteered to assist. Then Kuladri got malaria. Other devotees became ill with malaria, jaundice, dysentery, and various digestive problems. The weather was overcast, hot and humid, and thousands of varieties of insects began appearing. For several days at a time, the sky would be cloudy and 
the temperature in the 1990s then the sun would come out and steam everything up with almost intolerable heat it was vrindavan's most unhealthy season as propa's condition was and the devotees became more morose and even fearful for their spiritual master's life they brought propa's bed out where it was cooler on the small patio outside his house his servants would massage or fan him days passed and propa didn't eat except for a few grapes and some slices of orange as this was the way his father had died he said not by eating such remarks frightened propa's disciple all the more and they began visiting the samadhis of goswami to pray that propa would be cured one evening harikesh stayed up all night near propa's room chanting softly a continuous kirtan of hare krishna propa liked it this kirtan he said is what actually gives us life after that devotees took turns so that there was always kirtan propad explained that his illness was due to the sins of uh, his con leaders 80% of whom were not strictly following the rules and regulations he said even in vrindavan some of the devotees weren't regularly rising at 4 am since propad was speaking little he had only briefly mentioned this cause of his Ill- cause of his illness but brief as it was he crushed his disciples as for who was guilty each disciple would have to stay for himself uh, say, to say for himself but in a mood of oh god what have we done all the disciples in vrindavan immediately became very attentive in the rules and regulations in the morning bhagavatam class the devotees who lectured regularly discussed the subject as explained in shil prabhupad books at the time of initiation krishna absolved the initiate of all karmic reactions due to due for past sinful acts the spiritual master however as a representative of krishna also shares in mo- removing the disciples karma krishna being infinite can never be affected by such karma whereas the spiritual master although completely pure is finite the spiritual master therefore partially suffers the reactions for a disciple's sins sometimes becoming ill jiva goswami wants that a spiritual master should not take too much too many disciples because of the danger of accepting an overload of karma not only does the spiritual master accept the previous karma of the disciples but if the disciple commits sins after initiation then for those all spiritual all so the spiritual master may sometimes become ill proper said that his misdeed was accepting so many disciples but he had no choice for spreading krishna consciousness the spiritual master sometimes suffers he said so that the disciples may know due to our sinful activities our spiritual master is suffering and this always had a sobering effect on any would be offender but now for the first time prabhupada was specifically blaming his disciples for a ser- for a serious illness by neglecting their spiritual master's most basic instructions they were causing him great distress they understood that their spiritual master was no ordinary mal- malaria victim and they no knew they had to correct their mistakes and pray to krishna to sorry to krishna that propad would get better propad's condition was so critical and the implications of his statements so broad that his secretary brahmananda swami thought it best to notify the entire international society for krishna consciousness because propad was pleased by the 24 hour kirtan brahmananda swami thought that this program might be introduced in every iskon temple in the world a few telegrams were sent and work quickly spread that every temple should hold continuous kirtan uh, petitioning krishna for propad's recovery it reminded some of the senior disciples of 1969 67 when they had stayed up all night chanting and praying for propa's recovery from an apparent heart attack at the time propa had encouraged them to chant a hymn to lord narsimha and to pray our master has not finished his work please protect him due to the sincere praise of the devotees propa had said krishna had saved his life now in 1974 there were many more disciples than in
1967 and all of them <coughs> were praying for Prabhupada's mercy. But now also from what Prabhupada had said, there were also more devotees to misbehave and cause him pain. That <coughs> that message 80 percent of the leaders of my disciples are not following the rules and regulations this is why i am suffering was not telegrammed it was too heavy Prabhupada had come to vrindavan for a celebration but there had been none now he was very sick and his servant was carrying him in his arms to and from the bathroom other devotees were also massaging and serving him very sincerely and there was always kirtan for him Meanwhile, he simply demanded on Krishna, sorry, depended on Krishna, waiting, sorry, waited to get better so that he could go on with his work. While he tolerated his condition as the mercy of Krishna, he suddenly received word that the governor of Uttar Pradesh was coming to visit him. The governor, a Muslim named Akbar Ali Khan, was traveling in the area and Seth Bisin Chand, a festival, uh, a friend of Prabhupada's and the governor's had recommended that the governor visit the temple. Prabhupada thought that perhaps the governor would agree to help the devotees, at least in some matters, as getting government permission for steel and cement. Therefore, despite his failing health, he insisted that the devotees hold a reception in the courtyard and he would personally go out and greet, greet the governor. Lying on his back and speaking in a faint voice, he ordered a feast to be cooked and tables and chairs to be <clears throat> arranged in the courtyard. The devotees pleased, pleaded with Prabhupada to allow them to do everything themselves and tell the governor that Prabhupada was very well. He has come, Prabhupada said. I have to go out and meet him. Suti Kirti dressed Prabhupada in a fresh silk dhoti. Prabhupada tried to apply the Vaishnav Tilak uh, to his forehead, but even that was a struggle and took more than five minutes. When they were all, uh, when they were ready to go, Prabhupada asked his servant, have I put on my Tilak? He seemed almost delirious from the fever and was able to stand, unable to stand. Shrutakirti and others carried him in a chair and placed him in the middle of the courtyard where they had arranged several tables with Prashadam and Prabhupada's books. Just before the governor's arrival, many police and men and social, sorry, soldiers arrived, roping off the area, directing traffic in front of the temple and holding several peop holding people outside until the governor arrived. Gunanava had rolled a long red carpet from the edge of the property um, property into the temple courtyard and devotees lined both sides of the carpet chanting with kartal and mridanga when the governor arrived surabhi presented him with a garland immediately removing the garland the governor walked down the red carpet and into the courtyard Prabhupada stood the devotees were amazed to see Prabhupada standing straight and shaking the governor's hand Prabhupada and the governor stood together for a while and then sat down. Except for the guests, everyone present knew that Prabhupada was not capable of much ex exertion. They saw him shivering and trembling, yet trying to uh, smile and be gracious with his guest. The devotees were in great anxiety, thinking that Prabhupada's life might end at any moment, and yet they took part in the social pretense along, <clears throat> along with their spiritual master. The governor on invitation gave a, gave a speech talking about how India's future lay in industry. Then Prabhupada stood to speak, leaning against his chair. His eyes were very dear, very dark, and he was barely able to focus his vision. Along he had spoken very little, sorry, although he had spoken very little for almost two weeks, he now spoke for 20 minutes while the governor listened, very, listened politely. Afterward, Prabhupada sat and honored Prashadam with the governor and his 
entourage of 15 ministers. After the governor left, the devotees carried Popat back to his room where he collapsed with a 105 degree temperature. The political guests and military escorts gone, the temple site returned to its quiet usual quiet and the devotees resumed their soft kirtan chanting by Prabhupada's bedside. Amazed at Prabhupada's strength and determination, they uh, realized how little they themselves were actually putting forth in Krishna consciousness. <coughs> huh? After two full weeks, Prabhupada's fever fully broke. Um, a great ordeal great ordeal sorry I'm sorry mm. where am I there after the governor left okay after two full weeks yeah, yeah. A, a great ordeal was now over the mo monsoon was ending but the same problems of temple construction persisted. And so did Prabhupada's determination. His disciples all felt determined and they resolved to work through all the bureaucratic delays and slow labor conditions. Now, no one was going to neglect spiritual regulation. Prabhupada spoke no more about his illness and devotees around the world were informed of his improvement. They could stop the emergency ketans and go on with work as usual. Prabhupada also resumed his uh, usual duties uh, regarding the temple construction. One thing was clear. However, Prabhupada was completely spiritual and the devotees working with him had engaged in a spiritual contract, a, a contract based on love and trust. He was taking their karma and they had promised to follow his instructions. Now, despite his disappointment in them for their failures, that contract was still in order. If he continued to give his causeless mercy, they then they could carry out his orders. Otherwise, they were without spiritual strength. For Prabhupada, there was never a question of not continuing. Even when he had suffered illness on his disciples' account, he had never thought to abandon them. After more than two weeks of his of not translating, Prabhupada resumed his work. He had been working quite quickly on the Chetan Chetamrita and was up to the uh, discussions between Lord Chetan and Sanatana Goswami in Madhya Leela, taking up where he had left off. Prabhupada again began raising early and studying in the uh, studying the Bengali translations and commentaries. He would turn on his dictating machine and began to begin to speak. His voice a faint, harsh whisper. But as he continued, his voice grew stronger until by the end of an hour, he was speaking normally. By the time he left Vrindavan, he was working unusually fast, producing two tapes a day. Bombay. From November 1974 to January 1975, Shri Prabhupada stayed in Bombay. <clears throat> During this time, he persisted but patiently tried to obtain the no objection certificate which would enable him to start construction of Radha, Radha Sabihari temp, beautiful temple. His close involvement with this project impressed Giriraj and others who were dedicating their lives to Krishna conscious land sorry, Hare Krishna land as Srila Prabhupada had written as Srila Prabhupada had written in Bhagavad Gita one second please in Bhagavad Gita. Uh, has written in Bhagavad Gita. One who ha one who has no goal in life save one who has no goal in life save and accept acting what is happening? One has, yeah, not one who has. One has no goal in life, uh, save and accept uh, acting in Krishna consciousness just to satisfy Krishna. And while working in that way, one should think of Krishna only. I have been appointed to discharge this particular duty by Krishna. While acting in such a way, one naturally has to think of Krishna. That order of Krishna comes through disciplic succession from the bona fide spiritual master. 
to serve in a particular project dedicating oneself to giving the local people krishna consciousness was an opportunity srila prabhupada offered every disciple his field was the entire world and he was like an emperor who wanted to award vast lands to loyal sons but his awarding of lands and projects was not for material ownership which is always illusory but for service to the krishna uh, to the lord krishna was the proprietor of everything therefore a preacher could remain in a particular area of krishna's dom domain and try to free the residents from the clutches of maya hari krishna land in bombay was one of prabhupada's major plans but it was only gradually evolving as if krishna first wanted to see the devotees pass many tests of ob obedience to prabhupada's order before it allowing the project to manifest although iskon owned a half dozen tenements buildings on the juhu land law prohibited them from evicting any of the tenants but no law say said that the owner could not add another story on to his building so shri prabhupad had requested mr sethi a loyal life member and a construction contractor to build rooms on top of at least two of the tenement buildings eagerly mr sethi has undertaken this order and had obtained permission for construction now that the work was completed the rooms were being used for brahmachari quarters office and book storage at as the devotees had vacated the straw huts that had been their uh, residence for from there first days on the land this move not only relieved them from living in nasty ran rat infested quarters but also allowed them to tear down the huts and demolish of men of the huts had been a stipulation before the city would in issue no the no objection certificate <coughs> another major objection from the city had been the the temple's bhajan would create a non nuisance and that point had to be satisfied first and foremost when the police saw prabhupad's drawing of the projected temple and hotel they admitted that within a, such a big temple the kirtan would not create as much noise as it did at present so they agreed to accept the master plan for krishna are krishna land and remove their objections based on nuisance provided is going to tear down the straw huts wind uh, widen the access widen the access road so the tenants could approach the mm, back portion of the land each of these legal demands involved many detailed points of contention it was like a long drawn out chess game but prabhupad was experienced cautious and determined he proposed to stay at hari krishna land for several months to help giriraj mr sethi and others meanwhile prabhupad insisted that the spiritual program at hari krishna land go forward unabated even without a permanent temple 5 to 700 guests were coming for the sunday feast giriraj had reported to prabhupad that janmashtami in bombay had been a great success with several thousand people coming to see the deities and take prasadam for shri prabhupad who was now accustomed to staying in places like new york or los angeles for a week or less to stay in bombay for a three month period confirmed again that uh, hari krishna land was very dear to him <coughs> it was his special child when danger threatened he became alarmed and protective and when success came he was very proud uh? he was proud and wanted to tell them the world propart seemed satisfied that at least some construction was always going on he uh, asked that mr sethi build a brick wall around the property even though parts of the wall were sometimes torn down at the night by gundas build something propa said even if it is just one brick but go ahead with the construction just as when in enquire in acquiring the bombay property propa had understood the great value of position even before attaining the deed so with construction he insisted they go ahead even without full payment permission the work must begin 
Prabhupada said, whether you go, whether you have got sufficient men and bricks or not, begin every, even little, little. So it can be understood that we have begun. So the Prabhupada had received word from Rundavan that the newly elected governor of Uttar Pradesh, Mr. Channa Reddy, had visited the temple site. Hearing this, Prabhupada decided to invite him for the rescheduled opening of Krishna Balram Mandir. Your Excellency, tentatively, the date is fixed up on Sri Ramanavami, the birthday of Lord Ramchandra. Probably it will be the fixed up to uh, fixed up date because we are depending on the progress of constructing construction work. If you kindly give me your consent, we can print your Excellency's name on the invitation card as a chief guest and inaugurator of the temple. You are already our member as well as a great devotee of Lord Krishna, so we shall feel it a great privilege if you kindly agree this to this proposal. Prabhupada followed his invitation to the governor with a letter to Shurabi in Vrindavan. Everything must be sent person completed by end of March. He is the contractor cheating. That means it will never be finished. Simply we have to put money. From the photos I have seen, there is little, not very much progress. What to do? I want no explanations. I want to see everything finished. If there is still doubt, please tell me frankly. Invitations were coming in for Srila Prabhupada to travel to different places and another world tour was developing to visit Moscow, Mexico City and Caracas. Yes, I wanted to come there very much. Now we are in Bombay trying to get permission from the government to build our temple. And it appears that we will possibly be getting the permission next week. If this works out, then I will immediately be going to Honolulu. And from Honolulu, I can go directly to Moscow, Mexico City and Caracas and then to Australia by end of Jan. If Bombay situation is not settled up, I may have to stay till mid-Jan or so. And then in mid or end of Jan, I will be going to Australia to stay for one month. By mid-January of 1975, the city finally issued the no-objection certificate. Prabhupada was jubilant and immediately called for a cornerstone laying ceremony. He had already held a groundbreaking and cornerstone laying ceremony in March 1972 uh, on first moving to the land. Nevertheless, he wanted another one as this would actually signify the beginning of construction of temple. He therefore dis revised a festival involving all life members and friends in of ISKCON in Bombay. Srila Prabhupada was ready to travel and this time more than ever he impressed on his leaders in Bombay that the temple construction uh, temple construction is <coughs> should go ahead without interruption. No doubt there would be new position opposition from the government. But such opposition would be overcome as in the past by Krishna's grace. The devotees, however, would have to be very determined. This was the reward of working for Prabhupada in Hare Krishna land. That one gained uh, determination in the face of trouble and knew that by um, staying with one's service, he was pleasing Krishna and Krishna's few devotees. During festival uh, during February and March of 1975, Srila Prabhupada toured widely again, traveling eastward via Tokyo and Hawaii in Los Angeles. While traveling, he received word that Governor Reddy had accepted the invitation to attend the Vrindavan Temple uh, opening on Ramanavami. He also received an encouraging report from Shrevi, assuring him that the time the that, that, that the time this time, the temple opening would definitely take place. I am encouraged that you uh, expect to have everything completed on time. Prabhupada wrote, this is I want. Uh, this I want. Prabhupada traveled to Moscow, Mexico City and Caracas. Again, in answering his mail, he was saying he would not, he would soon meet everyone in Vrindavan. 
to a an Indian life member who wrote him for advice in touring foreign temples. He wrote, by the 20th of March, I will be in Calcutta and you can see me there. I shall advise you personally. You are also invited to participate in our Mayapur festival during Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance day celebration ceremony as well as the opening celebration of Krishna Balaram Temple in Vrindavan on Ramanavami Day. The governor of UP will also come there to participate and many other important and respectful gentlemen will also be there, will also be coming. I hope you will also come with your wife and son and mother and encourage us by taking part in the festival. I'll stop here. Thank you very much. Maybe you can make a mark here, leaving South America. Okay, Prabhupada. Okay, thank you very much. Prabhupada, do you have class tomorrow morning? Um, tomorrow, 7.30 means 8, 9, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I don't think so. Uh, I'll okay. let you know in case it happens, and if it happens, it will be. I'll let you know. Okay, Prabhuji. Yeah, fine. Oh, Thank or you. Or maybe, yeah, but to make it simple, yeah, let's cancel tomorrow's session. And Sunday also, no, Prabhuji? Because we, most of us, we are going to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, to the program. Yes, sure, Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Fine. Yeah. Fine. So this weekend is a break weekend, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Prabhuji, for the holiday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holidays are expensive in my school. <laughs> Once I come back, you have to pay for it. Okay. Wish you a happy Krishna conscious appearance day. Adhirasa Prabhu. And thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Anything we want to discuss about uh, the part that we read? Okay, then I wish you a nice evening, have a nice celebration, and we see us soon. On Jagal Dharma Beast, Chakra Pass in the Bhavaja, that is another Bhavane Bhu, Vaishnava Bhu, Namo Nama, to the Prabhupada Ki Jai, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you.